Hello, this is Matthew Armstrong, and this is day 15 of our Myself and Victoria's 100 Day Juice Feast. And Victoria is doing a little cleansing this evening, so she won't be joining us. Um, but uh, this is the, we're into the third week now, and I've decided for the third week that uh, I'm personally going to be doing a lot more greens. Uh, and so here we've got a fairly green one here this evening, so most of the juices this week are going to be good green ones. So first of all we have celery, we have cucumbers, cilantro, great for the liver, cilantro, apples, green apples, lemons with the peel off because we're not too sure if it's organic or not, and also ginger. So this is a great one, this is a real zinger, good for the blood, good to get the energy moving in the body, circulation, um, so let's, let's do this. So the lemon and ginger really, really give this one a good zing, it's delicious. Top notch. Okay, so I'm going to come a bit closer and chat to you. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. It's feeling a bit far away there. So, the question that I had was, you know, can you exercise on the juice feast? And I, I answered this before, but I want to be a bit more clear on it. Well, like exercising while cleansing, or you know, juice cleansing, or juice feasting, or juice fasting, whatever. And definitely with juice feasting, because um, it's generally done for longer periods, you know, exercise is encouraged. But for, for myself personally, I'm not doing any strenuous exercise for the first 30 days. I'm not doing anything that is going to, uh, you know, jar my joints. So I'm not running. I'm not doing anything where I'm bouncing about and jumping and landing on hard surfaces. So nothing that's going to jar my joints in any way, um, and nothing that's going to build up lactic acid. So I'm not doing any weights or, you know, uh, body weight exercises or anything that's going to be like anaerobic that's going to build up lactic acid in the body because it is a cleanse, so I want to cleanse everything out. I don't want to be going against it by doing that. So the exercises that I am doing for the first 30 days is that I'm doing yoga, I'm doing yoga every day, uh, walking every day as well, and also a little bit of swimming. So those are ideal exercises. They, they help the cleanse, they help the circulation, they help uh, remove the toxins, and you know, get them flushed through, get them moving, get the lymphatic system moving, and get them all flushed through. So that's my my recommendation if you're doing a juice cleanse or a juice feast is uh, if you're only, if you're doing any less than 30 days you know just stick to those simple things like walking, swimming, yoga, you know keep it at that. Um, I'm also doing meditation every day but that's that's not exercise that's a like a practice or a discipline as well which I highly recommend to do as well as the juice feasting because it's you know it's a it's a cleanse of the mind as well as the body and uh, the, the meditation really helps to, to cleanse the mind. Um, but after 30 days, then I'm going to start introducing uh, other types of exercise. I'm going to start doing some, some runs, a few hill sprints, uh, some body weight exercises, a little, little bit of weights or something. 
I'll start introducing that then. But for the first 30, 30 days, you know, there's, there's no real need to, for sure. Um, what else? Oh yeah, today, for the first time, uh, we had um, coconut, we bought two coconuts. Hard, very hard to find coconuts here, but uh, we managed to get two. Not the baby ones of all the nice stuff around them, just really hard coconuts. But there was water inside, or milk inside, whatever you call it. So we, we drank what was inside of the coconuts. And then I smashed them up and I put the, um, whatever you'd call it, some people call it the meat that's around the edges. I put that inside a blender and I blended that up with a lot of water in it and then I strained it uh, so there's only just pure juice coming from that pure liquid and then we drank that so for, for two weeks so that's the only overt uh, fats that we've taken is in the form of the coconut and um, other than that we haven't taken any overt fats so that was really good really really tasty actually you know the find that quite heavy on the stomach especially because we've been having really light juices and then that that's an overt fat so that's a bit heavier it slows you down slightly i think and um, well i find it anyway um but apart from that that's it okay so now we'll do a yoga posture so let's go and do that so this is one of the warrior postures that we do in yoga and there's warrior two so we start with our feet together, hands at heart center, and we bend the knees, and jump the feet out about four feet. Make sure your knees are soft, that you're not jumping out and jarring them. Just arms straight out to the sides, and then turning the toe out, turn the head, make sure you keep the hips sideways, and then from here we're just sinking down. Then in this posture, you want to make sure that your both arms are straight, so this arm isn't down here or up here, usually it's down here, bring that up. And make sure the body's not forward like this. So pull that back so your spine is straight. And then from there, just sink down, keep this back leg taut, and breathe, and focus in front of you. Breathe in, come back to center, then turn the other toe out. Again, be sure to keep the hip sideways. Don't let the hip come around like this. Keep that sideways. And then look the head, the whole body to the front. So the, leg, the foot turns out, the head turns. Breathe out and down. And again, keep the arm up and keep the body from going forward, which is a common mistake. Straight up. Breathing in, come back to center, then bend the knee slightly, jump to center. Okay, thank you very much. See you tomorrow.